Hi guys and welcome to this video. In this video we are going to look at how to use depth of field in Adobe After Effects. So as you can see in this picture the subject is in focus and the backgrounds out of focus and that creates the realistic feel of focus and it makes the things look more real in your videos. So to do that First of all, make a new composition. I'm going to go with a white background for this video right now. Open up the composition and make a solid. The color of the solid doesn't matter, so just keep it at any color. And you need to go to Elements and Presets and bring in your Element 3D plugin. Once you apply the Element 3D effect, Go to scene setups. For this, I'm going to use some of the start pipe, uh, start pipe models. I want the watch in the scene to be in focus. First of all, before you do anything go to render settings go to depth of field and in there make sure you have composition settings as in depth of field and in depth of field uh, mode keep it at pixel blur or preview blur you also have to make a new camera in the composition so i'm going to make that one now i can move around in the 3D space. Now that we can move around, go into camera settings, and when you look in there, you got all these options. If you turn on depth of field, that might do something um, depending on what settings down here are applied. But if you change them, you'll be able to achieve really cool effects. So if you put it on focus indicator, that shows you what part of the uh, model is in focus. This looks like the whole thing is in focus, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into scene setups and I'm going to move the watch a bit more forward. And this is what we're going to go with and if you look at the focus map we can see that which parts are in focus right now and if we look at the watch it's not really in focus but it's partially in focus but we don't want that we need full focus on the watch and not on the other things now, this is what i want in my final shot so now what I can do is, I can go back into the camera settings, so in here go to camera and the settings and if I go into focus, I can change the focus distance. More red on an object, the more focus is on it. So if you get a full red object in here, then that means that objects fully in focus so as you can see the watch is getting more red and that's what I want so this looks perfect and now what we can do is we can go back into the solid go to depth of field and go to focus indicator go to preview blur now what happened is you might have noticed that the watch is in really nice focus the background just blurred out just to show you that it's working if I go into the camera options and if I go and turn off depth of field the whole thing is in focus this is what was before doing any of this and when you turn it on the watch is in focus and the background is out of focus Different things you can do with this is you can turn up or down the aperture 
and basically what that means is how much blur the background gets so if I move that up you can see that there's loads of blur but the blur doesn't look so cool either we don't want that too high but it will give us a really nice blur if we want it we can increase or decrease the blur level here instead if we just put it on zero then everything uh, everything is in focus we turn that up that makes the background more blurry and this is how you get depth of field in Adobe After Effects you can do this with text in your videos any 3D text and anything else you can think of so thanks for watching if you like the video do this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.